name is Kevin Starris. I'm a reader in neuroscience. And my interest is in how the brain works at a fundamental level. Our hope is that by looking at details of the brain, we can understand uh, such things as the basic brain operation, uh, learning and memory, and uh, even dysfunction. The brain is a complex organ. The problem is there's so many neurons and we have to kind of break down the problem into something simple. Our interest is in a part of the brain called the hippocampus. This is a very important brain area which is known to be involved in learning and memory and in particular uh, undergoes changes and possibly dysfunction in certain disease conditions such as Alzheimer's. What we're trying to do is use a very simple strategy to reduce the brain into the simple building blocks which are the neurons. Neurons are connected via these uh, little uh, structures called synapses. A synapse is made up of two compartments, a presynaptic terminal and a postsynaptic terminal. Our specific interest is in these presynaptic terminals. And these are characterized by a cluster of synaptic vesicles. These are tiny little packets that contain the neurotransmitter chemical signal that actually allows uh, information transmission from one neuron to another. The interesting thing about those connections is that they're plastic. This means they're very flexible in their operation. And what we're interested in is trying to understand how those uh, synapses achieve that plasticity. We study a very new idea, a new concept in neuroscience. The conventional view is that those vesicles are targeted and uh, retained at a single synaptic terminal. Our findings suggest something very novel, that actually these synaptic vesicles are able to move. The idea we have in our lab is that by moving vesicles from one synaptic terminal to another, these synapses can actually change their properties. We use cultured neurons, which mimics the brain, and we use a fluorescence microscope with the fluorescent probes to access components of the synaptic machinery and extract information. Our research has flourished in Sussex because of a very, very strong neuroscience community and really good facilities for the kind of work we want to do. The university has been very supportive of collaborations with other universities, University College London and overseas, and this has been great for our research. So our results potentially mean something very important. I suppose in the future it may be possible to target these kinds of processes and actually allow us to change, even improve the efficiency of learning. Obviously this is somewhere in the future, but it's possible that we could target this trafficking of vesicles process and try to overcome a block associated with some kind of neuronal dysfunction. And that would give us new hope for clinical solutions to various disease conditions.